Okay, so we're doing passive range of motion today for the shoulder um, after rotator cuff repair. So the first thing that we're going to do is to suggest that the, the, uh, the person is up on two pillows and kind of keeps them up in the air, it's a little more comfortable. Uh, secondly, you wanna uh, support the arm um, very well to give them reassurance that, uh, that you're gonna keep that arm under control and, and, uh, and not provide a lot of pain. So external rotation is important. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is support under the elbow and then basically in a slow rhythmical fashion, take the arm inward and outward um, to provide that external rotation range of motion. Now, keep in mind this is range of motion, not rigorous stretching. You don't push into the end range. You just take what the joint will give you and provide that gentle motion. It's not uncommon to have to ask the person to relax, especially early on in this process. There, there tends to be a lot of tension in the joint, uh, some apprehension. So we're just doing passive internal and external rotation, and we're doing our best not to provoke any pain. Okay. Next, we'll talk about flexion. 